Well, Kurt, then I need for you to do something me because we've been a lot of places. We've seen a lot of evidence that points back, maps back to that historical narrative in Genesis. But we need kind of that, that bigger picture because the, the conventional uh, story uh, sees Earth history more as a straight line, more of just general uh, slow processes. But the history we see in Genesis tells us something radically different. And, and I understand you see it more in terms of major epochs. W what are those and how do you see that? Yeah, that's a good point. In 2 Peter chapter 3, it talks about people in the latter days saying, where's the promise of his coming for all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation? That concept that what you see in the present, what's happening right now, what's happening in the creek down below, what is happening in every place in the earth is the way it's always been. It's always been for all of earth history. Those that are scoffers. Passage, that right, they're yeah, scoffers, scoffers that say that. So the passage goes on to say, for this they are willingly ignorant. Mm -hmm. They're not just ignorant of these truths, they're purposely rejecting these truths and it lists the, the creation and the flood. These are apparently events, according to the Bible, that aren't like the present. 